Well, the Newcomer Navigation and Support Unit uh, was formerly known as the Ethnocultural Programme and it was established in 1997 to help newcomers with disabilities understand and access the resources and supports available to them. And you may wonder why we need to do that, but if you're new to Canada and English or French is not your first language, then trying to research resources and supports can be very difficult. For refugees in particular, the amount of information that they need to process on arriving here is really overwhelming. Our support systems are complicated to navigate and difficult to learn when someone is new to the country, and it can be very stressful, especially if you're a parent of a child with a disability. The Newcomer Navigation and Support Unit is made up of a team of highly trained cultural resource facilitators who provide direct cultural interpretation and facilitation services for people with disabilities who are new to Canada. Our services are provided in the first language of the client and at the moment we have about 21 languages represented in the programme. We don't provide verbatim interpreter services, that's not word for word. We explain terms that may be unfamiliar to the client as we go such as the titles of the professionals supporting them as part of the cultural interpretation. And that's to ensure that they understand everything being discussed. So for example, there may not be a relatable term in their own language to speech language pathologist. So we may need to explain if we're working with one with their child. The Newcomer Navigation Support Unit is uh, family focused as are most of our programmes at Manitoba Possible. So even though we're case managing the individual with disabilities, we will also link the family to other resources and organisations that can help them with the other issues they're facing, such as housing or EIA. We work closely with our clients and build trusting relationships with them, supporting them on their journey to understanding the complex web of supports. We also provide cultural sensitivity training to ensure that service providers are respectful of cultural practices and beliefs. Anyone can make a referral to our programme, such as an agency or a person themselves, they can self-refer. My name is Eric Manyang and for the past 15 years, I have worked as a culture facilitator with the Newcomers Navigation and Support Unit. As a newcomer, I have lived experience of many issues newcomers face. I myself came to Winnipeg in 1998 as a refugee from Sudan. So I have very good understanding of the needs of people who are new to the country. As a cultural facilitator, we work closely with the newcomers and their families from our own communities who are living with disability. In my case, for example, I work with the Sudanese, South Sudanese, and people who speak Arabic in Winnipeg. For people who are new to the country, it can be very overwhelming for them to understand the broad range of disability services and support that available to them. My role is to support our client and help them to understand the system and the program so that they can eventually able to make independent informed decision on their own care and the care of the family member. We work very closely with our client, getting to know them and their family to make sure that their entire family is linked to all the resources that they need. We are available to go to client at services provider, such as the school, EIA, housing, medical appointment, etc. Our program also provides cultural sensitivity workshop and training to other service providers, such as school and social services organization, helping them to improve their services delivered by increasing their awareness and sensitivity to the culture, value, and the belief of newcomer with disability. All of the information that you need is on our website at manitobapossible.ca.